I remember the very day I was at a summer camp and I remember spending so much time in this cafeteria with all this rackety reverb and it just sounded so echoey and I was tuning the drum so much and I remember I felt like an idiot once I realized this but I was like oh my gosh man like the microphones and the PA and the sound guy and that all affects so greatly how my drums are perceived and it it was kind of frustrating because then it's like no matter how much I wanted something to come across a certain way or have the effect in a room like that change the atmosphere in a certain way you know if the, the, the sound guy wanted to put a massive gate on my floor tom then it's like it limited me to all the emotion and dynamic that I wanted to play with and I almost felt like well, what's the point of even practicing with all this dynamic and sensitivity and small little touch and thought that goes into all this stuff if ultimately if you have a terrible microphone that can't even really distinguish that stuff and pick it up then what's the point you know, and as you get older, you start to, you know, you learn how to have the right conversations and you learn how to prove yourself and build trust with people to where, you know, I mean, one of our sound guys, Kent Margraves, he like, I'll, I'll be like, whoa, I hear tiniest gate. And he's like, oh, that must have been someone like that used the board last. And he pulls all the gates off my drums and or puts them on just so lightly. So the second the drums are activated, they come through and I remember the first time hearing DPA mics, uh, it was I, 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 it was like my jaw dropped and I almost couldn't even fathom that there were mics like this on the market, but I had never heard of them, never played them, and it was as if I didn't have in-ears in anymore. And all of a sudden, everything I'm doing on the drum, good or bad now, is being picked up. and. Uh, you know, interpreted out into the room through the PA exactly what I did. It can pick up everything that's amazing dynamic wise that you're doing and trying to perceive it or playing with a mallet. It can pick up the mutedness of it so delicately. And I remember just like seeing these tiny little mics and being like, is that that's going to pick up the depth of floor tom or rack tom or whatever else. And uh, yeah, I had a I had to have a my own set when I had my first experience with them and recording at home has been one of the best things with being able to, to pull out those sounds that you're wishing you could pull out in your head and with these microphones I feel like I can anything that I want to grasp out of the drum set and you know and then it, it's like we put all this thought into the wood and the type of rim and the head and to me like so much of that stuff was lost in the miking process and getting to PA that it was almost like why are we putting so much thought into it if it's not really even creating the impact that we want it to and I've just never felt so adequately represented until I've got you know I love the overheads they just make my cymbals sound like butter you know just smooth butter they're present they're not crisp like I remember putting overheads on and feeling like they were already EQ'd exactly how I'd want the cymbals to be they weren't shrill or harsh and uh, I couldn't be more pumped you know to be a an artist representing a company like that but uh, more pumped to just even have have the ability to be able to use them